What is a property management company and what is it that they actually do? If you're gonna play the game of real estate, you need to really understand this very concretely. So in today's video, I'm gonna break it all down for you. All right, my friends, Chris Crone here, and today we're talking about property management. If you're in the game of real estate, you're gonna to have to decide, are you gonna be your own property manager? Do you hire a different third-party property manager? Do you skip property management by going lease option? You've got a number of different considerations here, and what I wanna do is I wanna hit the really main big ones for you that will help you really just understand what property management is. All right, so the first thing to understand is that property management, their responsibility is to find tenants. So if you have a house and it's vacant, you need to get it rented out, then property manager is gonna do that. My experience with most property managers is they do not sell lease options, they just do property management. And the reason why that's kind of a big deal is because you might say, Chris, I love your lease option strategy, but if you call up a property management company, 99 out of 100 are gonna say, huh, that's not really our bread and butter, it's not really what we do. They will find you tenants, they will also replace tenants, okay? Now, the other thing that's really important is they're gonna collect the money. Um, if you are a big-hearted person, landlording might be really tough for you because people are always looking for where they got the wiggle room. So a number of people are going to see if they can mooch a little on you. And if they can mooch a little, they're going to take the pinky. They're going to end up taking the whole body because that's kind of what goes down. The last thing you want to do is get in a relationship with a tenant where you're in the perpetual habit of being late. So they're going to go ahead and take care of collections. They'll also take care of fining. They're gonna enforce the contract, right? If the people are late, there could be some late fees, and they're gonna enforce and make sure that the contract is appropriate, that it's legal, and that the moment anything is broken, we're erring on the side of justice instead of mercy to make sure that the investment goes according to plan. They're also gonna take care of evictions. You're gonna have some, if you buy enough homes, you can experience eviction. I know there's a lot of people worried about nightmare tenants. You know where most nightmare tenants come from? It's not property managers placing people, it's novices placing people. So we'll actually put the wrong people in our homes and then when we get what we deserve. We didn't know, but we didn't know the standards. We didn't know, we didn't know the mark. And the reality is real basic common sense. Hey, this person makes $30,000 a year, but they want to rent this place at $1,500 a month. Well, do some basic math there. $1,500 a month, that's, what is that? $18,000, that's half, more than half of the money that they make. Um, no bank is ever gonna do a loan and take more than half of your income and apply it to your ability to pay a mortgage. So you shouldn't either. These property management companies, they have standards for knowing what a good tenant will be, what a bad one will be. They're gonna do background checks. They're also gonna pick up the phone and they're gonna do some reference checks if they're a good thorough property management company. And then the last thing is that your property is gonna have some repairs. And if you got a property manager involved, they may be the repair company, they may be third party to the repair company, and generally if it's over a certain amount of money, they will send an email say, hey, this is the bid, this is what's broken, this is what we need you to authorize. And uh, I do get a little skeptical here just between you and I because it's really hard to track a world where there's kickbacks, but it's not like the property manager is trying to save you money. So often they'll go to super competent repair people, but the super competent might charge you double or triple. So that's where you might want to get a little bit involved when it comes to approving the repairs of the property. But outside of that, it is nice. It can be totally headache free. Something breaks and they're going to take care of it. If it's over a certain amount of money that you set up with them, they're going to make sure that they get your buy-in and approval. So there you have it. Property management in a nutshell, A to Z, soup to nuts, is basically they're there to find people for your house, enforce the contract, and get people out if they're the wrong people. And otherwise, they're going to do all of that and charge you roughly 10%. Some might charge 9, some might 8, some might charge 12, it depends. But 10% is really an average amount that they're going to charge you your gross rent. So if you're renting a house for $1,200 a month, 10% is going to be $120 a month. That's what it's going to cost to have them. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you've got an awesome tenant in the house, then you'll be like, why am I paying this property manager? But the moment things go sideways, you can be really grateful that you do have one. Again, all the more reasons why I love my lease option course. You may want to check out some of those videos because the properties do manage themselves. I get superior cash flow and I don't have to pay property management. But that's not going to be the perfect scenario. It's not going to be the perfect situation in every scenario. So friends, there's property management. Hopefully this helped you out. Make sure you subscribe and we'll keep rocking our real estate content for you. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. I just totally dated myself. But yes, that's, the, that's what you need to know about property management. Now, 
if property management is not your game and you want to rise above it, you want to go above it, and you want to play in some different ways, you got to check out some of the cool things we do in real estate. Check out my website. I'm going to talk about lease options. It's a beautiful alternative. And you can even own real estate, honestly, hands-off, hands-free, but be making 100% of the money.